there friends on YouTube. It's good to have you back for yet another honest review on pre-stack extreme. Let's add in that extreme right there at the end for big power. Guys, can you guess who sent us this one? Three, two, one. Our good friend Eddie did over at Muscle Players. Now, if you're not subscribed to his channel, please do so. He's a, he's a legend. He's got a supplement store, but you know what? He keeps his reviews 100% honest still. Commend him from that. Great guy. Crazy guy, but great guy. Now, let's get into this one. The taste, the price, the label, the effects. Sum it off with our final verdict. Is this the product for you? Let's go. Moving swiftly into the first segment of the review, the flavour. Now we've got it in orange mango, which I'll be honest, probably wouldn't have been the flavour we would have chosen because it comes in two other flavours. It comes in cotton candy and it comes in gummy bear. Nonetheless, guys, I'm going to keep it honest. Let's do this. So we're looking at a 16.3 gram scoop, nice and specific. <laughs> when you weigh it out, oh, it's strong in the air, guys, be warned. When you weigh it out, an ever so slightly heaping scoop gets you that serving. Very, very orangey mango in the air. It smells nice, to be fair. Let's look. We're looking at a little bit of froth there. Mixability on the bottom. Looks actually pretty good. See that? See that, guys? Is it focusing? Yeah, not bad at all. Yeah, it looks really good actually. Let's do it. Orange mango. Do you know what? That's good. That is very good. It's more orangey than I'd say mango, but you definitely get a mango aftertaste. It doesn't taste like chemicals, doesn't taste medicinal, doesn't no bitterness, it's not sour. I'd say it's sweet. I really think that's good. It's probably the probably one of the best orange mangoes I've ever had. I would honestly give it an eight and a half out of ten. I'm happy with that. Don't get me wrong, gummy bear would have been my choice. I don't know what that would have tasted like though. This was good. It was good. No complaints. Honey talks, guys. How much is this gonna set you back? Is it gonna Break through your pockets. Well, I can tell you if you head on over to our good friend, muscleplayers.com, he stocks a bunch of really good pre-workouts, including this very one. Now, when I added it to the basket today, it knocked 20% off of it straight away. I don't know how long that's gonna last, guys. My recommendation, if you're watching this review and you want this product, go straight there. Nonetheless, we've got a consistent RB10 discount code that knocks 10% off of this and anything else on the website. Now it knocks it down to $40.50. The good thing is with this one, is you do get a full 30 servings. There's none of this 20, 40, 30, 15 servings. It's a full 30, so it's really good value for money. I can tell you, a dollar and 35 per the go. UK guys, 99p. Really cheap, a 7.5 out of 10 on our consistent pricing scale. So you can see it's a lot cheaper than an average pre-workout. Like I say, if you can get it with that 20% off, we're looking at even higher scores. Gotta stay with consistency though, guys. RB10, as far as we know, that's lasting forever and it gets you that 7.5 out of 10. <laughs> Let's get into the label of this product. I'm gonna throw it up on the screen so you guys can see it. Now I'm gonna roll through it as quick as I can, let you know exactly what we're getting for that money. So, as I mentioned, 16.3 gram scoop, 30 full servings. Nice and transparent here. Starting us off with a citrulline demalate, a two to one ratio, eight grams, which is very good. You're getting like five and a half grams worth of pure citrulline, boosting those nitric oxide levels up, giving you a nasty pump in the gym is what we hope. Moving into beta alanine, 4.4 grams. That is hefty, guys. Way more than average. 3.2 is clinical, so they're going above and beyond here. It gives you that itchy, tingly feeling. 
that most of you love. Most of you love that. And it also helps with endurance down the line as well. CDP Choline follows 300 milligrams, nootropic focus, concentration, all of the good stuff in with that ingredient. Then we move into methyl xanthine and hydrus. And I like the fact that they've actually put caffeine in brackets there because a lot of companies will try and trick you by just putting methyl xanthine. Now, 300 milligrams, a run of the mill dose is what I'd like to say. It's not high, it's not low. Three cups worth of coffee about of stimulant. It's gonna give you that energy kick. Then we get into the interesting one I think of this product. The two amino six methyl heptane as DMHA, let's be honest. 200 milligrams, which is a generous amount, I would say. Potent central nervous stimulant that gives you a huge kick of energy. A good dose, a very, very good dose. Then we move into n phenyl dimethylamine as urea durensis. At a nice 125 milligrams to help along with that uh, DMHA, give you that sense of concentration, a sense of urgency, a bit of energy. It's just a good all round ingredient really. Hidramine HCL at 25 milligrams, which is a little low. Nonetheless, it has some fat burning, stimulatory properties to it, which we like to see. And that'll actually tie in nicely with the next ingredient. Rollercine, as it's better known, alpha yo. 1.5 milligrams, which is about a perfect dose. Any more? Some guys like it, but any more, it gives you those cold chills, sweats, excessive energy. Any less and you won't feel it sometimes. So I'll call that about right. And wrapping this label off towards the end, we get into biparine, which is a black pepper extract, just to get all of these ingredients into the bloodstream as efficiently as possible, help that digestion. Wrapping off completely, Hoopazine A, 300 micrograms again. Works with the CDB choline there. It's dubbed the learning chemical. It just helps with neuron connectivity within the brain. Just helps you fire it off. Gets you in the zone, really. So I would call that a very, very good label. Honestly, I really would. So uh, how's it going to come together in the effects? Effects of pre-stack extreme. How does this beauty work in reality, in the gym, you know the drill, guys. We take the label, we throw it aside. We're literally using the powder, blind testing it almost, pretending we don't know what's in it to see how it affects us in the gym. Myself and Craig use this one more than average. I've used it about seven times. Craig's used it a good two or three times. So we do fully understand its effects. Starting off, beta alanine. Yes. As to be expected, the beta alanine effects are very strong. A 9, 10 out of 10 on that itch range. So if you like the beta alanine tingles, this is ticking that box extensively. The, the swoosh is just going off the page, guys. Really good with that element. Moving us into what I would actually consider its strongest point. The energy. Good, consistent, clean energy you wasn't expecting me to say that was you clean energy it feels nice and controllable this product guys daily driver s comes to mind at a push i would say this is a stepping stone into the stim junkie realm it was a a nice handable energy but i wouldn't say it was as strong as this label claims now in with that i'm going to throw this in i'm going to throw it in here we go DMHA, do I think it's in there? Honestly, I've used DMHA pre-workouts for years now. This doesn't really feel like it's in there. That's the truth. If it is, it's it doesn't, it feels like 50 milligrams. It doesn't feel like 200 milligrams. With 200 milligram pre-workout, DMHA pre-workouts, I've been high as a kite. This doesn't give me any euphoria, it doesn't give me any illicit feelings, it doesn't feel skim junkie-esque, I don't feel off my bonds. I just feel like it's not, I don't feel like it's in there. That's the truth. That doesn't make this a bad product. It just doesn't sing, you know, it doesn't sing the sheets as high as what the label would suggest. And again, that's why we don't use the label in this effects section. I don't think it's as powerful as it wants you to believe from myself and Craig's point of view. That being said though, guys, the energy is very nice. An eight out of 10, 
It's really good, it's clean, it's daily driver-esque, it's usable. Following in closely behind that, I would say would be that focus element. Um, in the zone, relatively, I wouldn't say I felt any mood boost in their properties from this. I'd just say that I got through training. The focus and the energy, they die off after two hours. They don't crash, there's no real crash to this product. Just two hours later, two to three hours later, you don't really feel this product anymore. And in truth, I could have slept two to three hours after taking this product. It's not something that's kept me up at night. It's not something that's affected my appetite. It's not something that's lasted the rest of the day. It's in and out for training, which is a, a good thing for some, a bad thing for others. Now, no crash, like I mentioned. Now, let's move into another element of this pre-workout you guys are going to be questioning, and that is the Alpha Himbine. I would say that felt about right, about that 1.5 dose. Slightly, slightly heated, slightly sweats, slightly saliva, excess saliva, but honestly controllable. So if you don't like Alpha Hembine, I do think this would still be okay for you, I really do, because I'm not a massive fan of Alpha Yo. It was doable by sure. And moving into the worst element of the pre-workout, I'd say the pumps, they were just, they were average. They, they weren't as good as perhaps eight grams of citrulline malate suggest. They were okay, honestly. They stayed, still gave me a pump. Five out of 10, six out of 10, Nothing, nothing to write home about in that. I'm gonna add everything up, this whole experience, and the fact it gave me no negatives. I would be happy to give this. I'm um, between an eight and an eight and a half. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half, but I don't think it's nine out of 10. I don't think it's nine and a half. I don't think it's 10 out of 10. It's a good daily driver product, as I mentioned, a stepping stone into the Stim Junkie realm. It's not as strong as the label it has, wants you to believe. Extreme should probably be pulled off of the container. I'd call it pre-stack. That's my honest, 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 you know, experience with it, guys. Not much more can be said than that. And Craig fully agrees with me. So yeah, eight and a half out of 10 for this product. Final verdict on pre-stack extreme. How did it work? in reality and how did everything come together well let's go in chronological order starting this off with the taste down the mixer billy eight and a half probably the best orange mango i've ever had considering i'm not really a fan of mangoes especially so good mixed brilliantly too no complaints and the price of the product using our consistent rb10 at muscleplayers.com it got a 7.5 out of 10 so good very good value for money especially when you consider the effects i gave that an 8.5 i was between an 8 and an 8.5 but i think it was it was good it was good i think the disappointment with myself and this might not even apply to you guys is that i was expecting extreme 200 milligrams of dmha i was expecting it to hit like a train it didn't do that it felt like a good daily driver it hit all the elements respectively energy being top focus being second pumps were okay so all three elements are within this product beta alanine really pushed it up well so yeah that's our honest experiences with the product if you used it if you have let us know in the comments below what were your experiences because i always as i've always said people are coming here to watch this review it's always good to have more reviews in the comments and then really see honest ones yeah, let us know. Appreciate you guys watching along. And as always, stay stimmed. Have a good one, guys.